When I was looking for a lighter helmet, I came across this, the Scorpion XO1400 Air Carbon. I've been using it for a good few months now, so here's my long-term review. I paid £250 for this helmet from Sports Bike Shop, and I have to say, this is a really good price for what you get. The shell is entirely made from carbon fibre, meaning that it's super light, it weighs about 1200 grams. My old helmet weighed about 1600 grams, and this is a very noticeable difference when you're wearing it. It's hands down the biggest selling feature of this helmet, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to go back to something heavier. This helmet also came with a spare dark visor and a pin lock insert in the box. The pin lock is a must have in winter months, it really stops your visor from fogging up and these usually cost around £30 so it's good to have that included. The helmet has a drop down sun visor which is a really handy feature and I like having this available. However it doesn't quite come all the way down so you can still see light poking in from the bottom of the visor, it's a little bit distracting when you're riding. I also find that it distorts the image quite a lot even though I clean it often but it works great for keeping the sun out of your eyes which is perfect. I'd say if you know it's going to be sunny use the dark visor and keep the sun visor up but the sun visor is good for those times when you get caught out. Part of me thinks they should have just left the sun visor out though to save even more weight and cost. At least the switch to Operate, it's pretty easy to use even with gloved hands. My visor has a few scratches on it which you can barely see here but it's kind of frustrating because these happened really soon after buying the helmet so I'm not sure how scratch resistant the visor is. This visor is really wide, it uses Scorpion's max vision system and I can see things out of this helmet that I used to have to do a shoulder check to see in my old helmet. This is really good for safety and I don't think I'll ever be able to wear a visor that isn't as wide as this one again. And speaking of safety it's also 4 star sharp rated and it's ACU approved for track use. It has air in the name because it has this, well this air system. Once the helmet gets old and it starts to loosen up over time, you're supposed to be able to inflate the cheek pads just to help get a bit more life out of it. I find that this is quite handy if the helmet doesn't fit you perfectly because you can kind of inflate it to make it fit a little bit better. This helmet didn't really fit that well when I first got it, but now that I've worn it a few times, it's moulded more to my head and it fits really comfortable now. The helmet is fairly aerodynamic, but my head still gets pulled to one side when I'm doing shoulder checks, especially at high speeds on motorways and things like that. I upgraded mainly because I wanted a helmet that had speaker pockets for my centre, and this helmet has has those. It helps the speakers fit more comfortably since they sit in the cutouts rather than pushing on the side of your head. However, I find that the cutouts are nowhere near my ears, they're actually more up around my temples. I've pulled the speakers down as far as they can go in the slot and I have to have the volume on maximum to be able to hear anything. It means that if you're listening to music the quality is terrible, but for listening to directions like I do, it's fine. In terms of wind noise, this isn't a quiet helmet in my opinion. Of course, it depends on your bike and the kind of riding that you do, but I won't wear this helmet without earplugs. My Senna does a pretty good job of muting the mic when there's too much wind noise so that you're not broadcasting it, but at first it meant that my mic was permanently muted. I've since moved the mic so that it's more or less touching my mouth, and I've turned the sensitivity down so that it won't mute as often. But in my opinion, this kind of proves that it's not a very quiet helmet. I'd give it maybe a 6 out of 10 or so. The way I like to judge if I made a good purchase is by asking the question, will I be replacing this with the exact same one if I break it or lose it? I think I'll be looking for something that's just as light with a visor that's just as wide, but something a little bit quieter. This almost definitely means that I'll be paying a lot more though, especially once you add on the cost of a spare visor and a pin lock. I'd say for the price, this is a really good deal. Pair it with some earplugs and for most people, this is probably a forever helmet.